Today was the Returning Heart Celebration at Angola Prison in Louisiana. We had a wonderful time today watching kids and dads reconnect and get to spend some time together today in a fun-filled atmosphere. Today we have over 300 offenders. We have uh, probably almost 700 children involved. 450, almost 500 volunteers from across America, all in the middle of a maximum security prison. These guys are some of the brightest, most articulate, most caring people. Some of them only see their children during returning hearts. That's just once a year. Then they get to take their kids to shoot baskets or to run through the inflatable machines or play games with them. It's a, it's a way for them to be able to share Christ you know, we, we, we wonder sometimes why is returning hearts so important to us. 600 people are going to go back to their living quarters tonight and they're going to have a different mindset. They're going to have a mindset of being involved in their family. And these family relationships are extremely important to us. It keeps them grounded. It keeps them associated with their children and ultimately their families. And that means a tremendous amount of uh, peace and harmony and goodwill in the prison. Wanda Lifeline is starting to get more and more recognition, but we still have a lot of people who are very familiar with Awana, and then they're surprised to hear that Awana has a, a prison component to it. To the um, incarceration rate for children that have an incarcerated parent is staggering, and so anything we can do to help break that uh, cycle is, you know, very important. Plus, at the end of the day, you have to really stop and think what ultimately a program like this is doing. It expands. It's 18,000 acres here at this massive prison, 5,600 guys here. But this extends far further than that. It extends in, from Slidell in southeast Louisiana, Shreveport in north Louisiana, because we have kid families from all of these areas across the state that come in. These types of programs, when they're done correctly at this level, have the ability to change the communities from prison and ultimately break the cycle of incarceration, which we're ultimately trying, we really are trying to do that. I call them my incarcerated Americans because they are human beings. I want them to know that God loves them and cares about them and forgives them.